Question 10 in this OCR Gateway P2 section. This question is about radioactivity. Claire investigates the relative penetrating power of different types of radiation. Here's a diagram of her apparatus. So this is the source. This is going to be giving out the radiations. This is the thing which is in the way, the absorber, and this is the detector. So penetration is all about, well, can this, whatever's coming out of here, get through this? to the detector. Now keep in mind when you answer this question, source, absorber, detector, mention those three things in your answer. Now Claire is considering using radioactive tracers as, sorry, radioactive emitters as tracers inside the human body. You may have heard of this technique. We can inject something radioactive, uh, it will go around the bloodstream and we'll be able to find problems with flow or any places where the, um, blood is building up or anything like that. Uh, a radiation detector would detect the nuclear radiation outside the patient's body. Look at the table. So again, just think about what's happening there. The detector would be outside the patient's body. Think about that diagram that we've looked at at the start. Look at the table. The type of emitter is here, alpha, beta or gamma. Typical range in air in centimetres. Alpha very low, beta in the middle, gamma very high. Typical range in soft tissue, alpha very, very low, beta pretty low, and gamma reasonably low. Claire decides that alpha emitters should not be used as traces in the human body. Use the information in the table to suggest why. Uh, again, this is a suggest question rather than a do you know it question. So think of some ideas. We don't really need to be looking at anything really to do with the beta or the gamma, except in a kind of comparative sense. So have a little go, suggest why. Think back to what I said. I said use the sections of that diagram and make two points. Well, your first point is alpha would not penetrate the skin. Our skin is thicker than that. So alpha would not penetrate the skin. And why does that matter? Well, it matters because if it doesn't penetrate the skin, it will not reach the detector. said that one mark if you just said that one mark okay next section Claire uses a very small amount of a radioactive material for investigation radioactive made waste must be disposed of carefully describe some ways of disposing radioactive waste so here's one where probably you are just going to need to have known of some things so if you don't if you can't think of any, then have a little think. Look back at your textbook or your revision guide. All right, there are kind of four possible answers. Any two of these will be okay. Your first possible one is actually low-level waste. You must say that can go into landfill. so it can just be put into the black bags in the dump. Uh, higher than that, we need to actually encase it in something. So waste, waste can be encased, usually in glass or sometimes concrete and left on the ground. So radioactive waste is usually buried very deeply underground. Uh, waste can be reprocessed to be less harmful. So depending on what it is, it could be reprocessed. 
to be less harmful. And you could put, well, although there is no completely safe way found. Alright, only two of those, a few two marks. Next section then.